Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I am going to be going over the Bitcoin chart right here, how we have the potential of a bull flag playing out and uh, yeah, the importance of this weekly level has just been perfect, absolutely perfect. So I will firstly review what we had in this ascending triangle going into the break um, and uh, yeah, then I'll go over how I'm trading this now. So I uh, hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video and let's get cracking with the king which is Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just go over firstly the the beautiful that just this has just been happening time and time again uh, over now literally like the last uh, four months now four months is just being straight on bull market loving Bitcoin to be honest um, and again if you <laughs> if you've been following people which have even been calling for alt season which I'll cover in a second or secondly um, was bearish on this price action right here you really need to uh, take some thought about the traders that you're following because this is anything but bearish this was really really nice nice price action obviously going into your higher lows higher lows higher lows higher lows onto the weekly level you start consolidating under the weekly levels with higher lows and you break through okay so that was really nice that weekend just had some perfect price action and it was like like a scenario where if you were trying to trade the chop so if you were trying to trade all the up and down movements on a macro time frame uh you could easily have got chopped out but when you just take a look take a step back look at the bigger picture look at the trend it was just beautiful and uh, I don't want to be condescending and say easy, but it was not difficult to trade. Um, so it was really nice to see that break up then going into today, um, breaking through that weekly level. And you can see where we actually found resistance here. A double top on the top, which obviously was on the 4th of July here. We can see we have almost formed a double top by about $3, okay? So you do want to be aware, you do want to be aware that you are coming down here with a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And this is another lower high right here. So from a bearish scenario, you could say, uh, yeah, we, we, we haven't put in any any higher highs yet. And this is just lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Okay, so yes, I uh, I credit that. I am not a perma bull or perma bear. I will trade the chart how it's given to me. And and I do understand that uh, viewpoint right there. So we are putting in lower highs uh, for a challenge to that. You always want to have a bullish and a bearish scenario, absolutely, as a trader, because uh, it is all of, pro of a probabilities at the end of the day. So I would say here we are putting in a bull flag, okay? So then we have the possibility of a bull flag going through that resistance, uh, breaking actually the top here. Uh, the double top uh, and going on to this more important for me anyway daily level this daily level is much more important uh, because it's more of a macro higher high okay or, or at this point a uh, lower high apologies so yeah really I'm looking at that key resistance 12,500 okay we get above 12,500 reclaim it so we get some, get some closes above the daily level right there and I do not see a problem going on to challenge 13k um, so yeah, that, that for me is the main resistance. This is a sub resistance. Uh, the main one is that daily. And then you have an important support now, obviously the weekly. Okay. So if we do not break up from the bull flag and we actually want to come down and re test the weekly which has just been tested now so many times uh, you can just see here support, 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 resistance, resistance, really, really, really key level. OK, um, so, yeah, that that's kind of an important support that is, should not be lost. <laughs> uh, if it is lost, then you would argue, um, you know, you still have to higher lows at this point. Uh, but if you actually break down from the weekly and then you lose that trend line, then it's um, not very nice at all. And then, yeah, I would lean into some more bearish views just another lower high at this point but until that happens um i just have to view this as a bull flag with a supposed continuation to the upside all about probabilities here um that for me is the most probable so um yeah, that, that's nice. And obviously, you do want to be looking at the volume. Volume is going to be really key. And this is something that can change like this. OK, so you can obviously see here we put in some decent volume. Nothing amazing, to be honest. Nothing amazing. But nevertheless, a little increase in volume. But uh, mm, yeah, it's kind of me, me, me. not too bothered about that volume increase right there. I'm looking for a big volume increase. And I think that will come with a break if we actually drop down and lose the weekly uh, or this upward sloping support line. If we lose that, then I think we'll get an increase in bear volume in and a flush to the downside. But if we uh, actually break to the upside and break that daily, I do think we'll get an increase in bull volume. So these two weekly and daily levels for me are extremely important uh, to be trading from, really. OK, and then on the flip side, <laughs> uh, so this is obviously what I tweeted out uh, yesterday now saying the king Bitcoin 
is about to send so many altcoins back to the dark ages. Obviously, we have the inverse correlation. When Bitcoin moves up, the altcoins get destroyed. And <laughs> when Bitcoin pulls back, the altcoins do relatively well. Uh, so this was like me thinking, yeah, Bitcoin's going to go on a rip here, going to go on an upside movement and literally send those altcoins back to the dark ages. And you can see today, uh, back to the dark ages, they very much are. Bitcoin gets a 4% move and most of them are down like 10%. It's kind of crazy, those moves. Um, but that's that's an inverse correlation right there for you. <laughs> what is lovely? What is lovely? You, all I'm going to say is you have to be very, very selective about the altcoins that you're buying. You, I would say 99% of altcoins here. I'd say 95. There are three altcoins that I like right now. Uh, three. And uh, you would have to say here, <laughs> this is amazing. This this was really nice. So I, so I gave one setup. Oh, well, on my chart of the week. So I gave a chart of the week of OMG, EG. I think there's a really nice setup here. And uh, look at this. <laughs> This is, this is what you call about finding nice setups. Every single altcoin in the red, every single altcoin in the red, apart from one, and that is Ami Omnimize Go, okay? OMG, one green coin out the whole bunch. And guess what I gave as chart of the week? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, chart of the week. Uh, it was the OMG setup. And uh, yeah, pretty badass that was. Uh, you can just see every single in the red, apart from... OMG. Very, very, very nice. And that was obviously over in the contenders chart of the week. And just like saying, uh, when Bitcoin remains so volatile, you have to be picky. And OMG, not going to lie, that's a pretty nice pick. Obviously, that was that was given when we were all down at uh, 228, 208 sats. And now we're obviously sitting at 224. So that was pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, so that made me happy. Uh, yeah, it's just like, be careful with the altcoins, because obviously you can see the majority really are destroyed. So it's just like being really selective with your altcoin picks, um, and only trade the real nice setups. And all I'm going to say, I don't really want to spend too much time on this, but I would just say, if you are following someone on, on Twitter that calls for an alt season, that's been call, calling, okay, uh, let's be, be, sorry about that, if, if, <laughs> I'm sorry if I just burnt your ears, um, but uh, yeah, uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, if you've been following someone that's been calling for an alt season for the last like, uh, you know, literally two months now, you can see the alts are destroyed or they are just shilling altcoins. Well, I do not think they have your best uh, interests at heart um, because they probably have an alter uh, alternate motive. I do not believe they really care for your money or if anything, they want to take it. So it's just like be really careful of the advice that you take out there because there are so many dodgy traders that really do not have any idea what they're on about and that is not to really forcefully hate on people it's just really true this crypto space has got so many fake traders it's unreal um so you just be really careful with sort of what you look at out there even intaking information if you continuously intaking rubbish information it's going to make you uh it's going to affect your trading i would imagine so just be careful um and yeah I will end with my thoughts because I'm going to run out the door. Uh, <laughs> I was like to my fiance, yeah, I'm going to do this crypto video before I head out. And she's like, now, hurry up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go before I make her too mad. Um, but, yeah, really, I'll leave you with that weekly level, really important daily level and the potential of that bull flag. If you do not break up from that bull flag, then, yeah, look to reclaim the, the weekly. If you do not lose that, then obviously you're looking down to the bottom of that parallel slash monthly. So you've got some key levels to go through there. Um, so I hope that this has helped you. And uh, if it has, I would thoroughly appreciate a like. Um, uh, and, yeah, I hope that you enjoy your week. It's a nice sunny day. We're going to go enjoy it, have a nice meal. Um, so I hope that you enjoy your week, too. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. And, yeah, this... Final note, Bitcoin's the king. This is amazing trading environment. It, it's not every day you get a trading environment like this. So when you get one like this, you have to like make the most of it. And uh, yeah, just enjoy trading this market right now. It's beautiful. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody. Cheers. Bye.